<laughs> hey people, I'm back with another video. If you're new here, then welcome, join the family, click that subscribe button. Um, and if you're not new, then welcome back. But I think I already said that. Um, but today I have a video of where I'm going to be testing my new in makeup. My face is completely blank right now, but the products I have to try are some eyeshadows, highlight, and some lipsticks. So, uh, and they're from a different range of brands. So I've got Revolution, Freedom, and it's meant to be a knockoff Morphe palette. Um, let's just say I got conned a bit because I thought it was going to be like a big size and it turned out to be this little thing but it was like £2.50 so what do you expect these are the colours that are inside the eyeshadows which is the first thing I am going to do uh, I apologise if I sound really croaky or stuffed up, but um, yeah, I think I'm coming down with a cold. I'm going to try and create an, like, more of an autumnal look, seeing as I've got quite a few brown colours in here, um, and I've got a really nice golden coppery colour, so... Let's see what I can create. Uh, the first colour I'm going to go in with is just this one at the top here. They don't have names. They don't have names or anything, but so it's kind of a review at the same time because I'm testing. Use your brain. Come on, girl. So I'm just going to start by applying that all over my eyelids because where else would I put it? I actually really like that colour a lot more pigmented than I thought it would be actually and surprisingly no fallout oh yeah this was the um, box that the packaging oh. <laughs> the box that the palette came in um, I got it from China I think the next colour I'm going to take is this darker brown in the bottom corner one thing I'm noticing with this darker colour is that you get a lot of product on your brush but I don't want to go too too dark because otherwise I might look like an idiot actually that's not too bad just in the crease I'm evidently not very good at blending eyeshadow. For the next part, so in my outer corner, I'm just I'm gonna take a mixture of two colours. Why the heck not? Uh, these oh my god, son, these two right here, they're just kind of some dark browns. One's a bit more of a warmer tone, one's a bit more of a cooler tone, so why is the sun such a freaking nightmare? And now it's too dark. A bit better. You actually get a really nice colour payoff with this palette. Um, I will leave the links to all of the products I'm testing below, but this particular one I did get from 
eBay, I believe. That's really nice. I'm just gonna take my one of my flat brush <laughs> flat brushes. Um and I'm actually gonna go for this. I think this gold shimmer colour just put it all over the lid. I think it'll give off a really kind of autumn festive Halloween y look with the smoky brown cranberry mix. That's the one downside to this palette, you don't get a mirror in it. Oh my holy cow. Are you seeing this? Like the only downside to this shimmer colour is like with any actually you get some uh, of the product kind of flying around in the air when you get the product on the brush but when, when you're actually putting it on you don't get an awful lot of fallout and none of the product product oh, product flies anywhere else when you're putting it on your face so it's only when you're getting it out of the palette itself I'm actually loving this palette despite it's not what I thought it was I actually really like it because you can create some really nice looks like autumn and fall and winter there's even some more summer kind of colours with some peaches and pinks in there. I am now just going to put on my, I finish my eyes and then put on my foundation and powder before I then move on to testing my highlighter. Let me know what you think of these this eye look in the comment section down below um and let me know if you want to if you uh, and let me know if you want me to create any other looks with this from the colors you can see foundation that's what i'm doing that is my foundation and powder now done and the highlight I'm actually testing is the one of the Revolution Vivid Baked highlighters and it's in the shade Peach Lights the name kind of intrigued me and it was only three pounds so I'm going to be very interested to see what this plays out like and how it works. I'm, sit I'm probably sitting in one of the most awkwardest positions right now and it's really hurting. Not that that's any better, but oh well. <laughs> oh my god! You. Oh my god. Um, it, it's probably one of the most blinding highlighters I've ever tried. That is so nice. Until it hurt. Now those. I don't know if you can see it as well this side. Because of the position of my phone. Oh my god. This highlight is brighter than my future. And of course I'm going to put some of this on the end of my nose. 
I'm out of my inner corners. So the last thing I have left to test is my lipsticks, uh, it's the Naked Mats collection from Freedom. There's five lipsticks in the box and it was £5 so essentially £1 each which is a pretty good bargain. Although the one thing that ticks me off is the fact that there is space for a sick in the box. It opened again anyway. There is space for a sick in the box. But they decided not to fill it, which is really annoying. It has the colours on the side, so I think I'm going to test the Naked Naked or the Naked Protect. Such lovely names. And here's where I'm going to have trouble getting them out of the actual plastic packaging. Mm. One. Two. Gonna try the naked naked first. I don't, why am I smelling it? Oh wow, this is a lot more pink than I thought it was going to be. I'm gonna miss you daily. Yeah, that's pretty gosh darn pink let me down with that one oops and now they've all gone flying everywhere someone tell me how now this colour on the top is somehow this colour on my lips I think I'm going to try the other one see if that is actually any think remotely like the colour that it's supposed to be because I don't like pink lips I'm, I really don't like colour pink at all. But it's a nice formula. Really easy to apply. Hopefully I will have more co more colour with this look. Uh, more luck with this colour. I really like this one a lot better. I really like it. <clears throat> <clears throat> I really love this colour, better nude colour that suits my look. Back. But that is my completed look. I'm still shook over this. I like. Let me know what you think of this down in the comment section down below. Don't forget to hit that like button if you do like this look or you know just be a nice person and help me. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Please share it with anyone you know. Hit that subscribe button. I definitely think these products went well, they're really successful in my books, especially the highlight and the eyeshadow. The lipsticks I do like. The formula is great, it's easy to apply, which says something coming from a girl who struggles to apply lipstick. Um, the colours were a little bit different to what they were meant to be. I will see you in my next video. And 
Thank you for watching.